If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome back to Spirit Guides. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman, spiritual coach. I'm here as always with my co-host, Joshua Radawan, who is an amazing spiritual practitioner of his own. And today we have a guest and I'm so excited to bring her on this show. She's, she has been on my previous podcast, Spirit Sherpa, but she is now coming on to this show for the first time. So I'm going to introduce you guys to a woman who has been my best friend for freaking forever, right? <laughs> like We've known each other. We met when I was on Walkabout in 2002, and we have been working together ever since. And so this is Kathy Shiren. And Kathy is a P, she has a PhD in transformational work. So her dissertation was called Transformational Dynamics. It's on the, the science of human transformation. And so, you know, if you, if you think I, you know, transformation is your thing, the, this one, 660 page dissertation, man. All right. Anyway, the, she's also got a family constellation and a structural constellation, structural or organizational, structural, right? Constellation Both. certification. Oh. Both. Both. Okay. Oh, organizational, uh, structural, and family. <laughs> yes. And she has she has been running transformational events for what, 30 years, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you know, I she so I've talked about Lemon's Gate on the show. And so, you know, that's the one that's the event that I used to this is the person I used to force the check on to every year to get back <laughs> into the event. And so, you know, Kathy's Kathy's list of things that she's done is long and wide and deep. She's done health coaching. She's I, I, oh my God, so many things. So, you know, when I say spiritual badass, this is what I'm talking about, okay? So yeah, Kathy is a spiritual badass. She's also an improv queen. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever found Whoa. our video on Stuckville funny, you will understand what I mean. And if you haven't, go look it up on YouTube. It's totally worth watching. So, But welcome to the show, Kathy. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you very much. I am very happy to be here. Yay! Awesome. So today we're going to talk about the elementals of personality. Am I just a big haired metalhead? <laughs> so it's kind of a funky, cool way of saying we're going to talk about the Chinese elements and how they relate to personality. And this way you're going to get a chance to understand what your primary element is. And so Kathy's going to talk about that today. And so I'm actually going to just turn it over and let you let you chat about the elements and, and talk about it, because, you know, we, we had this conversation on the phone yesterday. She could talk forever. So I'm just going to let her do it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <clears throat> so Chinese element model, there are five of them and they all exist in relationship to one another. They have there's energy that flows around the circle of the elements. There are components that push against each other. Um, there are push forward, push back. I'm just going to go in and explain all of that. The energy in the circle of Chinese elements begins with water. And another name for water is philosopher. And water is the fount of ideas. So if water is your home element, you're constantly, what about this idea? And what about that idea? Um, but Remember, philosopher, it's a it's a more of a heady kind of thing, right? These ideas are you're you're springing from the the fountain of creativity and you know wisdom kind of thing. Yay, an idea. Well, the energy comes from philosopher, moves around the circle from and again, I'm gonna use both the names and the elements, from water to wood. And wood is referred to as pioneer. And wood goes hey, energy, you know, an idea, let's do something with it, okay? And so in a, if you think about a pioneer, yeah, let's go west, throw things in the wagon, giddy up kind of thing, right? You know, pioneers are slapdash, but man, they get things done. They grab ideas and they go with it, okay? So they're busy, you know, grabbing this idea and trying to turn it into reality and, you know, oh, there's a hole over there, we'll slap a thing on it and, you know, they're, they're very, let's, let's get it done. The energy moves from pioneer, from wood, around to fire. And fire is called wizards. 
and the fire are all about the emotions. Okay. Hey, there's something going on. How does everybody feel about this? You know, what's, are we passionate about what's being built? Are we not passionate about what's being built? Is everybody on the same page? Is anybody pissed off? Let's, let's talk the emotions of what's going on with all this. And then the energy moves from fire to earth around the circle. Earth are the peacekeepers. And so what happens is the peacekeeper sees all this, you know, all this activity and all this energy and emotions, and then it comes around to them and they're going, oh, wait, we got to balance this all, right? You know, I mean, there's too much going on over here and not enough over here. and Just bring it all into balance. That's the peacekeepers who live in primarily in the earth element. Then it comes swinging around to metal and metal are the alchemists and the alchemists go, Wow, look at all what's, nobody's got a blueprint. Nobody's mitering the corners. Nobody is, is you know, anchoring this in policies and procedures. We got to, we got to, in order to, for this to stand for the ages, we got to build right. We have to, we have to plan this all out, nail it all down. And, and so they start putting together blueprints and structures and policies. And it comes looping back around to water and water looks at all these plans and goes, hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> okay which makes the alchemist crazy <laughs> well there's there's a whole bunch of different things that go on and i'll talk about that in a minute but that's the flow around the circle okay now what happens is then that there is the the cross circle kind of stuff so starting with water and it, the way you can look at this is depending on what element you think you are there's going to be one element across the circle that's going to push against you and there's going to be one element you push against and you can always tell what that is by if you look at the one that's immediately ahead of you like it from water that would be pioneer skip pioneer and it's the next two elements it's not the one on either side of you it's the next two elements that are cross purposes now for water they're pushed against by the peacekeepers philosophers are pushed against by peacekeepers earth is pushing against water. And the reason they do that is because they're like, stop with the ideas already. You know, I just managed to get things balanced, quit it. You know, no more ideas. We just stabilized the system, right? So peacekeepers, the earth pushes against water. But water, remember philosopher, very much in their heads, water pushes against the wizards, the fire. Oh, my God, all that emotion. Will you people like dial it down? You know, this is an intellectual process. I have all these ideas. So the, the, so water is pushed against by earth, by peacekeepers that want them to stop with the ideas. And water pushes against wizards, the fire and the emotions. Okay. So as you go around the circle, if you go to Pioneer, again, skip the one that's immediately ahead or behind of them. So Pioneer is pushed against by alchemists, okay? Because they're like, hey, the alchemists are going, hey, you guys, slapdash in over there. You need a blueprint. You're not mitering the corners. You're not building it right. It's going to fall down, okay? So the alchemists push against the pioneers because the pioneers aren't doing it right, okay? And the pioneers push against the peacekeepers. You're slowing down my process, dude. You know, here I am trying to, you know, you're over there trying to balance everything and you're getting in my way. You know, my volunteers aren't showing up. My, my process isn't happening. You're so worried about balancing. We're never going to get anything done. Okay. And you can move around the circle from each position. Remember, don't take the one that's immediately ahead of you or immediately behind you. And then you can look at which one pushes against you and which one you push against. Do you want me to go through all of them? Yeah, and, do it. Okay. All right. I want to hear so, the rest of them. <laughs> all right. So the next one is wizards or fire. So again, you don't go to the immediate. Ahead of them is peacekeepers or earth. Behind them is pioneers or wood. So again, we already know the wizard one because we talked about it from water. Okay. Right. Is wizards, the fire, the emotions are pushed against by water, the philosopher. Stop, stop. You're making me crazy. Okay. <laughs> but <clears throat> the fire pushes against the alchemist. And they're saying, you guys are your blueprints. It's so cold. It's so sterile. It's so, you know, there, there's no emotion here. You know, you're trying to miter all the corners and make everything so exact. Where's the human element? Where is, how, you know, how people feel about, do we want a mitered corner or do we want it slightly offset because that's more interesting? 
you know, that kind of thing. So that's from the wizard's viewpoint. And we go around the circle to peacekeepers. Okay, again, you don't go at the immediate on either side. <clears throat> and we will talk about on either side what that means. That's next. But from the peacekeeper's standpoint, again, we already know that one from water, right? Is peacekeepers push against water or wood earth pushes against water because it's like stop with the ideas already. So that's the other piece of it. But, and we also know the other one because the pioneers, these, these are going both directions. The pioneers push against the peacekeepers to say, you're slowing my, you're slowing my vibe here. I'm not getting my stuff done. Um, and when you come around to alchemists, I mean, we pretty much already covered that one too, is the alchemists are pushing against the pioneers for working without a blueprint, right? You know, you're, yeah. you're not doing it right. It's not going to stand. You know, the flood comes, Noah's boat is going to sink, whatever. <laughs> and then the, uh, and they're pushed against by the wizards. We already talked about that. You know, you people, you're just working from a plan. You don't care what anybody feels about this plan. So those are the pushes against and the back and forth. So you can see how that works across the circles in terms of those pieces. Now, when I was doing this for the first time and I was trained by Shiatsu practitioners and all the rest of it and how all this works, the best way I identified who I was, which what was my primary, okay, is by the burnout factor. Mm. And that is your home base is where you're most comfortable. Now, they'll tell you in the system that you should try and be comfortable with all the elements, right? That this isn't a, I'm only a this and none of this. No, you should be try and, try and live balanced because if you're out of balance, it's in Chinese medicine that causes illness and other things. But there's always going to be a greater degree of comfort in sort of your home base element, right? And from, and that's where we get the one ahead and the one behind, Okay. So from water standpoint, if water philosopher ideas, okay, if you've been in business for very long, if that's your thing, somebody will tell you an idea is only worth 10%. It's the people who implement it that, you know, deserve the credit for building a business, right? Ideas aren't all that valuable. So what happens is in this, oftentimes in this culture, the idea generators are feeling kind of unappreciated. So in order to make things happen and to implement their ideas, they push forward into wood or into pioneer. Okay, I got to take my idea, got to make it happen. Got to make it happen, got to make it happen. They're out of their center because they're idea people and they're pushed into the doing place. The problem is, is when you're pushed out of your center, it's not like you can't make things happen, but it drains your energy. Okay, because you're, you're not operating from your core strength. And so you may be able to make things happen, but you're going to find yourself in a whole mess of burnout eventually. And what happens when you burn out, if you're a water, you pushed into wood, you pushed into pioneer and you burned yourself out, you collapse back into alchemist. And you sit in alchemist and you go, just give me the damn blueprint. <laughs> just tell me what to do. I can't think anymore. I got nothing left to give. Kelly, and one of your things, I have no spoons, yep. you know, I got nothing. Okay. Just give me the blueprint and I will follow the blueprint because that's the burnout position for water when they haven't stayed in their strength in that home position. Now, as you go around the circle, it's the same for every position. So if pioneer, if wood is your home position, okay, then your push forward is into wizard, is into fire. Okay, I'm, I'm slapdashing all this stuff, but I can't get enough volunteers and everybody seems to be mad at me. So I'm gonna start managing the emotions. I'm gonna push forward into emotions and I'm gonna deal with this emotional stuff, except that dealing with the emotional stuff for pioneers is exhausting, right? So what happens is, again, they hit burnout, they fall back into water, into the idea thing, and they just kind of lay there and go, I got nothing left to build. You know, here's, here's some ideas. Leave me alone. Okay. So that's their fallback burnout position. Now, if you recognize yourself in any of these burnout positions, what you can generally do is take one step forward around the circle and you're very likely standing in your strength, standing in your home element. 
So moving around the circle to wizards, if wizards is your home element, all right, emotions, 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 then you push forward into peacemaker. Well, yeah, we got all these emotions, but you know, people are all over the place and we got to get it balanced. And they step into peacemaker energy, which is not, again, their home center. And they burn out because they're not used to trying to balance all the emotions. They're fire. They live with the emotions, right? They're not trying to bring balance. So when they burn out, they fall back into pioneer and they get into do it mode. Okay. And in do it mode, they're just like, I don't give a crap what you think. We're doing it this way. <laughs> they're done with the, emo I mean, their home base is emotions, but okay. I'm burnt out with all these emotions. All you people are this and that and the other thing. And I need to get this done. So they fall back into pioneer. That's their burnout space. Moving around the circle to peacekeepers, which is earth. Okay. Is the, again, they're trying to balance. They're trying to bring it into balance. Okay. And they move forward when they're, when they're trying to get things, you know, when they're pushed forward, they push forward into alchemist, which is, okay, we need a plan for this. You know, this, this balancing thing isn't, I'm not bringing it into fruition. We need a blueprint. We need a plan. We need a procedure. I can't get it done any other way. I'll just set rules, right? I'll set rules and rules will make them all, you know, behave the same, right? <laughs> like that ever works. <laughs> From a peacekeeper standpoint, it doesn't. But of course, peacekeepers burn out because rules aren't their thing, right? And they fall back into wizards, which is emote, 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 emote. Yeah, nobody loves me. Everything I try to do fails. You know, I just, I can't stand this. You know, screw them off. They don't want to balance it all kind of stuff. You know, it's, uh, I I've seen people quit corporations who were peacekeepers, who got pushed into rules and fell back into emotions. And just said, everything sucks here. I'm leaving. Okay. Because they drop back into their burnout position, which is for them, not for wizards, but for them, overly emotional. Because they're earth. They don't belong in fire. All right. So we come circling around to the last element in this loop. And that's the alchemists. Okay. And the alchemists are doing their blueprints and doing all the rest of that kind of stuff. And somebody says, you know, it's all derivative right? We keep doing the, all this basic stuff and all these plans and all these procedures. We need some new ideas, right? And they'll push the alchemists into generate ideas, generate ideas, generate. We need new ideas, except the alchemists suck at generating new ideas, right? They're, they can, but they're so out of their center that they are, they're just lost, right? Okay. I can generate some ideas, but it's kind of like, get the idea out. Arr! And uh, they, they burn out. So where do they fall back into? They fall back into Peacekeeper, which is, you know, forget the plants. Let's just, you know, a little oil on the water. Let's just smooth every, everybody go along to get along, you know, kind of stuff. So they're, they fall back into that place of, I'm not rocking the boat anymore. You know, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to try and get everybody balanced out. I'm not going to do any new plans. I'm not pushing against anybody. I'm just going to do that. And so, and then you're back around to water again. Well, and I'm going to point out that when we had our conversation yesterday, because we agree I'm an alchemist, uh, yes. the, you know, the other option for burnout is to hermit, to just yes. sub subtract yourself from the equation and be like, oh, if I can't find peace outside of myself, I'm going inside. Y'all can leave me alone. Talk to the hand. I'm not answering my phone. Go splat. Right. Yeah. It's just it's that. So, you know, yeah. when, in my words, it's what I'm going to let the TV watch me. Right. It's, yes. it's that. So, yeah. So there's, there's a lot of things here and you're right. I, you're, I was listening to you talk about the alchemist and the, the ideas thing. It's like, you know, I, I love to be creative in business and, you know, I've, I've, I have been creative in other places too, but I, my biggest challenge is coming up with the idea. Right. It's like, I, I'm like, oh, I want to paint something. What do I want to paint? I have no idea. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know what I want to paint. I have no idea. I, I can paint it once you give me the idea, but, but, but coming up with the idea is the tough part. Right. And, you know, Josh and I were just ideating some ideas for the podcast uh, for the next episodes that we're doing because we ran out of episode titles and I was dreading it because I'm like, oh my God. And like, I can talk about anything you want to talk about. You hand me an idea. I will talk about it until the cows come home. I can structure it for you. I can make it easy for you to understand. I can break it into parts. 
but the idea is the hard part, right? Which is why I love AI so much because it gives me the ideas a lot. But Josh walked in with all of these amazing titles and topics and I was like, oh my God, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> because it's not my thing, right? And so, you know, that that is so true. And and I don't go in, well, I, I do... I do peacekeep. I mean, I, I am a community builder. It's sort of my thing, but, but I, I, I tend to hermit. I tend to like start, I know my burnout when it comes because I start to see all of my social activities as obligations instead of things I get to do. Uh, and I start like, only crisis answering things. <laughs> it's like if if you haven't paid to be in my programs or you're not in, you know, you're not on my team, I'm not talking to you, right? <laughs> like I was just, and that includes all my social, my, like my friends know that sometimes I just disappear. You know? <laughs> and so, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely, it, it fits perfectly into this model. So Josh, I saw you laughing as things were oh. around. Did you identify what your, what your element is? Oh, for the record, yeah. Alchemist is metal, right? Yes, Alchemist okay. is metal. Yeah, okay. No, <laughs> uh, because I, I feel like I, in, <laughs> uh, you know, I, my mind takes a little while to process. That's a, that's a lot of stuff that sent me down so many different ideas of what's going on in my current life and how to use that exact process to kind of alleviate some of that. You know, I, I do feel like it's funny because I always thought it was fire. I always thought it was fire, but after listening to that, I, I see that I kind of play shades of all of them in different relationships, you know, in the, within the world, mm -hmm. you know, I'm kind of all over the place in that, but I, I noticed lately it's, it's been water definitely pushing up against fire. <laughs> so, you know, I do feel like wa water, you know, I really feel connected to water and earth or, you know, or, or wood because I am very much an idea man. And usually I'm also the one implementing the idea. And, you know, that's where, you know, that's kind of how those two work together for me. Um, yeah, no, I thank you for sharing all that. That was amazing, Kathy. <laughs> so, so Kathy, you did not associate air. At least I don't remember you associating air. Which, which, which one of those is air? This is a Chinese element model. There isn't. It starts out water, wood, fire earth metal oh that explains it <laughs> yeah there this so that's why i said you know when we were talking about the elements i said we need to be specific because a lot of the western structure of elements is earth air fire and water and right. so you don't have metal and you don't have wood but you do have air okay in the chinese model it's right. water wood fire earth and metal and in the okay. in the personality types it's philosopher, pioneer, wizard, peacekeeper, alchemist. Okay. Wizard is the one I was forgetting. So there yeah, we wizard go. is fire. Yeah. Okay. I was like, my brain is just like going, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, so and this is one that you're going to want to listen to a second time and write it down and draw the circle and fill in the, the yes, things. And it tends that's to going to be. be the best way to do this. Yeah. Yes. And it's not unusual that wizard would be the one you forget because wizards are the ones that push against alchemists and you're an alchemist, yeah. right? And the wizards are going, you know, you're over there creating blueprints and, you know, people are, are you're not taking into consideration how people feel about what you're planning kind of thing. Yep. So, yeah. and, and uh, Josh, I would basically say, it, Kelly said you came in with all these good ideas. I would guess that your home position is probably water because it's very common for the idea people, particularly in this culture, to have to push themselves forward into pioneer, to the doing mode, but you'll find yourself dropping back when you burn out into just tell me what to do. Okay, and that, that is a home base for water. But the fact that you access all of them, rather than saying you're all over the place, which is kind of, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, I would say you have some good balance. Yeah. And given that Josh comes out of construction, that's probably a good indicator as well, because forward is construction, backwards is construction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's it's just, you know, which form of construction? Am I creating it myself sort of in a quick slapdash fashion or am I, you know, am I falling back in to tell me what to build? Right. <laughs> and it's hard so. in this, <clears throat> sorry, it's hard in this culture. Who gives you a job for sourcing ideas? Nobody. You know, unless you unless you get hired by a think tank, 
right? And that's a whole different animal and there aren't a lot of those around. So it, to be a water person, you almost always find yourself either pushing forward into pioneer or falling back into alchemist because that's the blueprints, the mitering or the, you know, the pioneer implementing, those are, those are where the, the pay scale is. So it, water is a, is a tough position to be in. You find a lot of HR people in wizards. Okay. You, you know, if you think about the different ways that people can earn a living, right? Peacekeepers, you might find more therapists, you know, trying to bring balance. <clears throat> um, pioneers are almost every entrepreneur I ever met. You know, it's kind of like, yay, slapdash, particularly the ones that are, you know, often running the minute somebody, you know, pulls the start gun. <clears throat> yeah, Sorry. Which I can do too. <laughs> yes, you can. I am the queen um, of that, <laughs> but, but you know, uh, we all, we, we all work to balance, again, right? It's, so, it's yeah. all balanced. You right. should have access to all of them. The piece is to remember where home base is yeah. and to not, and to, and to remember if you're working, like if you're a water and you're working with a peacekeeper, okay. Recognize the peacekeeper is going to be pushing against you and your ideas, right? Cause they're trying to keep the peace. All right. And it's just a, when we talk about personalities in the workplace or or in life, in our relationships, in our families, in the coffee shop. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that everybody is coming at it from a slightly different place. And when we understand that our view is not the only view and that what happens with them, they may be seeing the world in a completely different way or experiencing what is your strength as their pain in the butt. Okay, is is that it starts to give you some idea of, oh, okay, I can step into this and see, yeah, they want me to do this and I need to negotiate with them because this idea is important. It's just like the alchemists with their blueprints and the pioneers with their let's get it built. Okay, is that, yes, the alchemists push against the pioneers, but the goal here is to negotiate, hey, you want to build this, let's build it well we can add some value here. So the pushing against isn't always, you know, hey, I'm out to, to get you, right? It's a way of looking at the model and saying there's some value to be brought by looking at how we balance how this energy is moving around and across and, you know, forward and backward in the circle. Not only for ourselves to know when we're getting into burnout, okay? There are a bunch of coaches out there back when I was trying to figure out why, why my business wasn't getting off the ground the way I wanted to, that made a whole lot of money out of me because I was burnout and an alchemist. And I was saying, sell me the blueprint. And they were more than happy to do so. And I paid a lot of money. And of course the blueprint didn't work for me because I wasn't an alchemist. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I needed to be in my own ideas in water. Well, and that was one of the biggest things that you and I had as problems when we were trying to get things off the ground when we were doing a business together was you would set, have this amazing idea and I would say, okay, I need to see every detail of the idea so I can build it. And I'd like, I need to know the whole thing. Tell me where we're going. I need to know what the end goal is so that I can build the right track to get there. Right. And I'd be looking at you like, huh? <laughs> yeah, and you're like, just, it's fine. We just need the idea. We'll just, we'll just work with the idea. And I'm like, no, that's not how you ground it. <laughs> yes, but it was your job to do the blueprints. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't do it if I didn't have the vision, right? And so this is, this is the other piece that happens when you work with somebody in, in your, in your picture. It's like it wasn't my idea, so I needed to have the idea fully fleshed out in order to be able to build it, right? I so, remember yeah. one of the times that that became really, really clear to me is we were. We had done a, we were doing a retreat and we were sitting in the hotel room at the end of the day going over the retreat stuff. And we were talking about something to do with money. And I said, yeah, you know, I've, I've got this number in my head. I'm going to have 456 million and, you know, whatever kind of money. <clears throat> and you looked at me and said, are you nuts? You know, what would you do with all that money? Right. Okay. What would you do with all that money? And, and, and I, I didn't even stop to think it wasn't that I had a plan. You know, I just, you know, it's going to have this much money. And, and I went, oh, 
well, if I had that much money, I could go around and I could build retreat centers on ley line convergences around the planet. And we could do healing energy into the planet. And you went, oh, my God. And, <laughs> you know, we could do this and we could do that and we could build it here. And we could build it there. This is an alchemist and a philosopher having a conversation. <laughs> I had this huge vision at that point because yeah. she like handed it to me and I went, we. Yeah, exactly. And and you were like, and I'm like, that's fine. You build it. I'll just go get the money. It was done. <laughs> yeah, I've done the idea. I'm I'm good here. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's fun when you understand how it works and what the philosophy, you know, what the personality pieces of it is, and and where your where your home point is, and if you find your if you identify yourself by your burnout place, okay, then it's like, oh, I'm in burnout. Okay. It's, it's not that, you know, for me, it's not that I need to buy all these coaching programs. I just need to recognize I'm in burnout, cut myself some slack, do a little restorative work here and get back to my center in, in water, in philosopher. Yeah. So making decisions from the burnout place or even from the push forward place aren't going to anchor well because it's yeah. not your strong suit. Yeah. You should never be making any decision of any kind consequence in burnout that how is many times like have, the key to failure <laughs> how many times have i came to you in burnout and be like i have this amazing idea and you're like no it's just you're like stop asking yourself <laughs> existential questions right now you know because I'll, I'll sit there you know as a, a philosopher when i'm in burnout for months contemplating the bounds of the universe actually absolutely making no traction in any way shape or form but i will have all of these deep level questions and you know and you're like just i don't think it's now i don't think now is the time for, for that maybe come back in a month and by then i don't need to ask those questions and and right. that's the lovely point that kelly made is that's a hermiting philosopher that's a hermiting idea is you're going inside Okay. And you're contemplating, you know, the, the meaning of the universe. It's a hermit place. You didn't fall back into blueprinting like the alchemist and you didn't push forward into pioneer. You turned inward. Yeah. So essentially and, and you didn't, you can't exit the circle. Okay. But you, you, you sort of withdrew your energy from the circle and turned it inward. Yeah. And I want to be clear. It's not the meaning of the universe. It's the structure and nature of the universe. In ah, universe. okay. So yeah. right, the structure and nature of the universe. <laughs> Spoken like well, a true alchemist. It's still philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, as, as the idea person, I have my idea for that. Is the grounded right. state of being is unconditional love. And that's just the answer. <laughs> yeah. So that that's for me. in philosopher. That's, yes, that's in, that's your in philosophy. element. That's if you're right. going to fall Everybody... back into alchemist, you're going to be like, well, now how does that work? And how does that form? <laughs> yeah, and what's what, the plan? What is and the how do plan? We build and how does, yeah. it, how does it come together? And, you know, what's the structure, right? Yes. <laughs> that's alchemist. Yep. Yeah. Yep, so, yep. you know, this it's, it's just, this is a fun model. And it's, it's a super useful model. I've, I've got some stuff going on in, in my personal life with some people I'm having to interact with and, and, and I'm, I'm sitting here and going, oh yeah, this person's fire. That's why they're making me crazy. Yeah. That's right. Cause <laughs> alchemists and fire push against, you know, alchemists and wizards, fire and, and metal, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Which is, you know, and it's, it's. It wouldn't be driving me crazy if, if the system didn't need some alchemizing, right? Once the system is alchemized, then I can not care about the fire piece of it because that's, I do fire piece myself. I just know right now my, my piece is that in order for me to not be driven crazy within the structure or lack thereof, that there must be structure. And, so, and that comes back to balance, right? Right. It's yeah, all which, five elements together. Yeah. That create solid, stable, you know, useful kinds of things. And that's when new ideas is surface and they're effectively dealt with and implemented. And it's, it's all, it's all five together. It isn't like, oh, I'm this and I'm the best. No, there right. is no best. There's balance. Chinese yeah. medicine, Chinese elements, it's all about balance. Yeah. But for personality purposes, it's really useful to know your home base so that you stand in your strength, yeah. okay? And then you can identify what you're being pushed against, what you push against, oh, that's right, yeah, I do that. And then what your push forward and your fall back, your burnout is. Yeah, awesome. 
Well, this has been amazing. Thank you for coming on the show, Kathy. Love you coming on the show every time. Guys, don't forget to rate, like, and subscribe. We are so happy to have you and, and please share with your friends. And that's it for this week. Remember that what you focus on expands. What you intend is what you create. So choose wisely. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Show of